as part of the Beatles Story 30th anniversary celebrations, we're looking at some of the things you can see at the Beatles Story in Liverpool. Today we're going to look at the record, or more literally the acetate, that launched the Beatles' career. Two songs, Hello Little Girl and Till There Was You. This is how the story goes. So on the 1st of January 1962, the Beatles have an audition with Decca. As we know, the Beatles failed the audition, Decca rejected the chance to sign the Beatles. The one thing they did do to help was, they gave the audition tapes to Brian Epstein to have a listen and to maybe do something with. So Brian starts to take these around the record companies in London, but they're not interested. He's getting desperate, so Brian goes to see an old friend of his called Bob Boast, who worked at HMV in Oxford Street in London. They met on previous record companies uh, meetings and stuff, once out in Hamburg actually. So Brian goes to see Bob Boast and uh, Bob says, one of your problems is A&R men don't tend to have reel-to-reel -reel tapes to listen to these things. You need to put these tapes onto acetate. As it happened in the same building was an acetate cutting service. So Brian goes up to see this guy called Jim Foy. Jim cuts the acetates from the tapes. While he's listening, he says, I don't know this song. And Brian says, oh no, this is an original song written by the band. So Jim says, well, why don't you go to the top floor in the building? There's a company there called Ardmore and Beechwood. And they're the official song publishing arm of EMI. They might be interested in publishing original songs. So, armed with the acetates, up Brian goes to see a guy called Sid Coleman. He explains to Sid about the Beatles and says, got these acetates cut. Sid has a listen and thinks, wow, that's a good song. Ironically, the song he played, Hello Little Girl, was the song that captured Brian's imagination back in the cavern when he first saw the Beatles. So Coleman's interested in getting the song published. So he says, you need to speak to somebody at EMI. I tell you who's desperate for a record deal for somebody, a rock and roll group of any sort. George Martin. So Sid Coleman picks up the phone, rings George Martin, arranges for Brian to go and see George. They meet up, Brian plays the acetate to George Martin and musically he's not that impressed. But he said Brian was a very earnest young man and he certainly believed in this group so he thought what the heck, bring them down, we'll do an audition, I'll have a listen to them, if they're any good I'll offer you a contract which is exactly what happened. 6th of June 1962, the Beatles go down to meet up with George Martin. They do their audition. Again, musically, it wasn't great, but George Martin saw something in the songwriting ability and the charisma of the Beatles to think, I'm gonna offer them a contract. So that's how they got their first recording contract with George Martin and Parlophone, in a way, thanks to Decca. And it's all down to this acetate that you can see down at the Beatles story with Hello Little Girl, Until There Was You. And on the one side it says John Lennon and the Beatles, because he was the lead singer of Hello Little Girl. On the other side, Paul McCartney and the Beatles, because he was singing Till There Was You. And I actually held this record, so when it was announced that the Beatles story had this in their exhibition, I came down to talk to the media and this was a genuine, wonderful piece of Beatles memorabilia. For me, it's worth the admission price of going in anyway. So this is what you can see, one of the many exhibits and pieces of memorabilia down at the Beatles story in Liverpool. So join me next time when we have another look and see what we've got in the Beatles story. I've been David Bedford, thank you very much.